Hey guys, that my gamer back here for that video, guys. Welcome to the first episode of my daily sniping series for Mutt 23. So we have 162,000 coins, and we're gonna be opening up some new and improved gap packs. Okay, so these aren't new and improved at all, and I don't know how much we can actually open. I guess we can only open up one at a time. I mean, one per day. It is so weird with a new uh, gap pack system that you can open up one get a gold party pack a day at pretty much. Yeah, is that going now? No, it's still here. Okay. So it's so weird how this works. I, I don't even know how EA Sports is doing this. Okay. It's like you have a gap packs, but they're very limited and... It's weird. There was one for 500. Now it's gone. But anyway, though, guys, there are 160,000 coins to go through to open up today. But let's go and talk about this. What should you do with your 4,600 Madden points if you did go ahead and pre-order Madden 23? So, yes, a lot of people are going to be logging into the game in a couple of days and getting 4,600 Madden points. But... As you guys can see, here are the bundles that most likely will be available. Now, there probably will be other bundles available day one, just because of how Madden works. There probably will be like a day one official release bundle, right? Just so that they can get more people to actually buy the game when it does go ahead and release. But here's the here's the uh, bundles I recommend going after, right? So let's go ahead and go over to my... Um, special offer screen. These are the bundles you should be targeting. Okay. These are guaranteed. You're going to get something good. So for example, I looked at these in another video, but you're guaranteed an 86 overall Justin Herbert and 85 overall Ryan Ramchek. You're guaranteed these players. So 2,200 is a lot. But if you want to, if you go ahead and go over here, right? And I I don't know if I can buy it. Is it still an offer here? Let me see. Um, I Okay, so I already bought it once. So it's not popping up again. But you can actually buy. It's a bundle where you get one offense, one defense, and you get 100,000 coins for 4,400. So you literally get... One offense, one defense, which is a guarantee of 30 elites. You get 30 elites, 80 to 86 overall, with 100,000 coins for your pre-order bonus. That is so much better than most pre-order bonuses we've had in the past. And it's just because they're offering this offer right now. Now, obviously, if this wasn't here, where else could you spend your um, points? My personal opinion would be grind out your levels and use them on level packs uh, as you are grinding out. Personally, that's what I would say to do with them. Uh, you can also, of course, uh, spend. And I'm going to see if the option is available right now. We go to our field pass. Can we actually buy levels in our field pass right now? Let's see. Season one. Um, can I actually buy them right now? I know this was talked about as an option and it was leaked, but I want to know if you can buy them right now. If you can't buy them right now, you can't buy them on day one. Obviously, this would not be an option, but of course, we still have some more store options. So number one is the bundle, okay? Go with the bundle. Number two is going to go ahead and be, if you can buy levels, use the points to buy levels, which... I will say is weird just because you can grind them out for free. But if you don't have time to grind, do that. Now, number three, if you don't want to go ahead and buy any of that, then we're probably talking about the packs we have here on the screen, right? We have a platinum bundle, which will be too much for your points anyway. Elite packs, which are guaranteed 180 plus overall elite and 370 overall players. Based on last year, these packs were absolutely garbage. Now, these are the new Pro Elite packs, which are a little bit different. Uh, contains two 87 overalls and four 70 plus overalls. So it's pretty much just what? It's a uh, plus two. So it's another, it's just a plus one Elite, plus one gold card. And it's cost, yeah, it costs 6,000 less technically. Um, and then this one right here, which is, of course, 8,900, which you wouldn't have enough for. And you wouldn't have enough for this one right here either, 
which to be honest, all these always interest me. The platinum player, the platinum player bundles always interest your boy, but we have a 12 game day bundle here that you wouldn't be able to buy. So we're now talking about these packs right here. Now, if you are going to use your points on these packs, I don't recommend doing it because really I would hold off, hold your points until the limited time cards in the game and then spend your points. There's nothing to pull right now. Yes, you could pull cards that you could sell in the market. Don't be wrong. But right now, there is nothing really crazy to pull. Wait for a limited time card to come out and then go ahead and do that. Because right now, just simply no point to use your points in that category. I would probably recommend just waiting. Nonetheless, though, if you are going to buy the bundles, like I said before, the player bundles, not the actual. And you know what? Actually, let's, just, let's do it. It's the first of the year. Let's open up these packs to show you guys what we get out of them personally. But like I said before, if you are going to go ahead and open up these bundles, let's see what we get. Elite 86 overall, Xavier Howard. Okay. All right, listen, listen, listen. This is not an example that these packs are good. Do not use this as an example. These packs are good. Okay. There's this completely 83 overall. Okay. Like, I don't know. I'm happy I'm pulling. I pull flames. Okay. Uh, okay. See this. This is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. 87 overall Chris Jones. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm not making a good example. EA is not letting me make a good example of why these packs are garbage. Okay. <laughs> maybe day maybe day one they're actually pretty good. But like I said before. Those, that's my thoughts and opinions on where you should spend your points when you do go ahead and get them for Madden. And this is what we normally would get, 81 overalls. So don't 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 look at it and see, oh, you got this crazy pool. Cause everyone's gonna get a crazy pool, okay? Once or twice. But overall wise, you're not gonna win over and over consecutively. And even those 87s, I don't think those 87s, I think probably goes to 100,000 coins. I might make my coins back off all those packs just by the 87 but even then i probably won't make a crazy profit i doubt the 87s go for that much how much you go for oh the market isn't even set up correctly yet the market isn't even set up correctly i forgot i kind of forgot we are like in early early day one all right let's look at uh d tackle let's see what the price tag of this card is actually going for I doubt he's going for more than 100,000 coins. I doubt it. Uh, well, there's only one rookie premiere up, and he's 86. Uh, which, again, like I said, so there's none of this guy up yet. My guess is that probably won't sell. This card will probably be at a price tag range of like 105, 110,000 when more people do pull him. Um, Xavier Howard. Uh, how much does he go for? And I just also realized that uh, if I go back here, I'm hitting the wrong button. That's what my issue was, is I'm actually hitting the wrong button here. So it's actually going to be, uh, it changed. It used to be left bumper. Now left bumper just takes you to the auction house on the top left side of the screen. Now it's going to be, you have to press in the uh, analog stick in order to uh, press it and, and push up in order to go ahead and see the player. So for example, he's 79,000. He'll probably be less than that. Uh, and he will be how much? He's not in the auction house. So with that being said, guys, there's, that's where I recommend spending your uh, points day one, your coins day one. I know this video was all over the place, but I was not expecting to pull some crazy freaking cards. I was expecting to get absolutely crapped on during that. And I absolutely did not. So I was actually heavily surprised. Uh, but like I said before, everyone's getting 4,600 points who did pre-order Madden. So definitely use them wisely. Don't go ahead and waste them. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit the like, subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.